in this lecture we will learn about derivatives of composite function okay so we will learn so first what is composite function a very small recap what is a composite function then we will try to find how to find the derivative of composite function okay we will learn about a very powerful tool known as chain rule which will help us find the derivative of composite functions we will apply everything to solve some examples okay so this way you will learn about finding derivatives of composite functions okay so ready to get started we will first look at composite function okay so what is composite function anyone so it is f of g of x okay these kind of functions are called composite functions for example if g of x is x square plus 1 f of x is sin of x then the composite function f of g of x is what so in fx is sin x we will replace x by g of x which is x square plus 1 so this will become sin of x square plus 1 so this is composite function okay so similarly a few one more example not many so g of x is 2x plus 1 okay f of x is x cube so the question is what is f of g or f of g of x so again what you do f of x is x cube f of g of x so replace x by g of x so it becomes 2x plus 1 whole cube okay so this is the basic idea about composite function now we will go to how to differentiate it okay so we have a golden rule known as chain rule okay so it's like a chain or a link so what it is so it says that we can write d of df by dx as df by dt into dt by d of x okay so this means what so let's take one example so if we had something like f of x is 2x plus 1 whole cube okay so this again we can write t of x is 2x plus 1 and f of t we can write as t cube isn't it so f of t is t cube and t of x is 2x plus 1 so what will it become like so it is 2x plus 1 whole cube is like this so hence we can write df by dx first we will try to differentiate with respect to the function itself so it will be first we will try to have t is equal to 2x plus 1 so this becomes the function becomes a function of t so f of t is 2 c t cube isn't it f of t is t cube so df by dt i can easily find it's 3 t square okay but f is finally a function of x and not of t so what the chain rule says is that you have to continue with multiply it by dt by dx so now t is 2x plus 1 so dt by dx is 
so this whole thing becomes f dash x is 3 t square into 2 so 6 t square so which is 6 2 x plus 1 whole square okay so this is the way to go about composite functions we will take some more examples so like one example if we take f of x is tan 2x plus 3 okay again we know that okay we know how to find f dash x if it is just simple tan x isn't it f dash x for tan x so what is it so this is sec square x so but what happens for tan 2x plus 3 so here we can again think it as a composite function so where we can take t is equal to 2x plus 3 which is where I write t means t of x and then this function becomes f of and then we have h of x is equal to tan of x so fx is what fx is h of t of x isn't it so we will try to look at it from slightly different angle we have f of x is equal to tan 2x plus 3 so I take h of x as 2x plus 3 and g of x as tan of x okay then we can write that okay f of x is g of h of x hence f dash x which is equal to d f of x by dx so this will become equal to d g h of x by dx into d h x by dx ok so this becomes so this is h of x ok so we have again we can take simply it as t is equal to 2x plus 3 then f of x is tan of t so f dash x is first it is so df by dx is equal to df by dt into dt by dx so this becomes so df by dt is now what so it is so sec square t and dt by dx is 2 so this is 2 sec square twice x plus 3 ok so this will be the answer so last example little bit more complicated example we will take where we will extend the chain rule so f of x is now sine of cos of x square so now there is in fact 3 so if we take first t is equal to x square then what will happen so we will have to do it one by one okay so we can also write df by dx as many times so you can write the chain rule extended chain rule as df by du into du by dv into dv by dx okay where f is initially a function of u u is a function of v and v is finally a function of x so let's see how we apply it here so df by dx initially we see we take whole of this thing as u okay so u is cos of 
x square then what we take cos of x square so cos of some x we know so we take it as v is so v is what x square so u is cos of x square and v is x square so now let's try to see can we solve it so df by du so this whole thing is u so we can say that okay sin u if we differentiate it with u respect to u it will become cos u and u is what cos of x square then what happens du by dv so du by dv is so u is cos x square v is x square so this is cos differentiation of cos x which is minus sin of x square and then finally dv by dx is 2x so this is minus twice x cos of cos x square sin of x square okay so this will be the answer so minus 2x cos of cos x square and sin x square so this you have to understand this looks it's not really true but you can think of it as okay if i take df by du 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 gets cancelled dv dv gets cancelled and it becomes df by dx this is not how it is happening but for remembering you can think like this it will help you so what you have to do fx is sign of something inside take it as u so u is cos of x square okay so i don't know about how to internally go but if i get something like sin u so i can find the derivative of this function in with respect to u which becomes cos u okay that is done so now you can replace anything inside u might be any function of x that's done then we have cos x square again i know the differentiation of cos v it is minus sin v whatever we may be v is x square here then i know x square directly i can find the difference derivative of this 2x so this is how i proceeded okay so i hope you understand what is chain rule and i hope it helps thanks